It's Saturday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is number 32. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue, my bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood, it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of humility. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day will raise us up that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God that we may live in your presence. The reading is from Hebrews chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain's. Through this, he received approval as righteous, God himself giving approval to his gifts. He died, but through his faith, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death, and he was not found because God had taken him. 
for it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, warned by God about events as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir to the righteousness that is in accordance with faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out a place that he was to receive as an inheritance as he set out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in the land he had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Here ends the reading. <clears throat> to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Saviour of the world. Jesus, saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray today for our home and the communities within which we live. We pray for our families and our friends and all those that we care for and those who love and care for us. Father, we pray that our homes may be places of laughter and safety. And Lord, we pray for those whose home is not a safe place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 